Hi, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to contextually embed a bot inside of SharePoint and Office. Now, I use the term contextually embed, and that's really key because there are samples out on the internet on things like PNP that show you how to throw a bot onto a SharePoint page. That's not what this is about. I want a more contextual and integrated bot. I want my bot to automatically know who I am. I want it to be able to interact with some of the APIs that run local to my client. So in the case of SharePoint, I want it to interact maybe with CSOM or some of the SharePoint REST APIs. If I'm in Office, I want it to be able to interact with Office.js. And this is all possible because of what we call the back channel. Now, when bots communicate, they use activities. They pass activities between a client and the bot endpoints. And typically these are messages, but there are other types of activity. In this case, we're gonna use an event activity that can be invisible to the user, but can be really valuable for an integrated experience. So here I'll just quickly add my web part. This happens to be a SharePoint framework web, web part. So I'm in the workbench here. I'll go ahead and add my echo bot. And almost as soon as I add it, it's gonna proactively message me and it says, hey Richard Azariga, I'm a bot that can read your mind. Well, maybe not, but I can count things in your SharePoint site. So right off the bat, I didn't send any message to the bot, it knows who I am. And the reason it knows who I am is because my web part is using that back channel to give my bot kind of advance notice of who it is that's running this web part. So it automatically knows that through that back channel. We were able to pass that information. Now, uh, my bot can't just start calling SharePoint REST endpoints from the cloud, but locally, my web part can. And so my web part can actually play as kind of a REST endpoint proxy for my bot. And you can see here it says, I can count things in your SharePoint site. This allows me to count things like the number of lists in my site, number of subsites, and number of content types. So if I say, you know, give me my lists, I'm telling my bot that, hey, I need to run a SharePoint query. So it's doing all of that through the back channel. And you can see it says, well, that was easy. You have 57 lists in your site. Let's try again. In this case, I'll count my webs. I have not given my bot any sort of special token. I haven't given it any sort of special, any credentials. I'm just allowing it to communicate with my web part invisibly and run things like queries and pass those back to uh, my bot. I'll go through and do the last one here, content types, and it'll go through again and query that. I have 118 content types. So hopefully you can see how this can deliver a much richer and integrated experience when you run this inside of something like SharePoint or Office where there's an identity present, right? So if, I, if I'm in something like Office um, Outlook and I have a mail add-in, we could do the exact same type of concept there and use Office JS to see who the user is, whose mailbox it is, what item is being shown, and you can do all that through the back channel. So check out my blog post where I'll go into a lot more detail on exactly how you uh, code the back channel, both on the client and on the server. And uh, I'll also have this exact sample and a few others that you can uh, clone off of GitHub. So check it out and thanks for watching.